This is a presentation on how to dissect and identify a sheep testicle. We are going to start identifying the parts first before we go further with incision. So this is the epididymis as a whole, it's just a fancy word for testicle. And on this side is the tail. And on the other side is the head. Along the side of the epididymis is the epididymis ridges. And then there's this connective tissue along that covers the outside of the epididymis and is called the tunica vaginalis. And this part right here is the first layer. It is a parietal layer and it lines with the scrotum, which essentially makes it part of the scrotum. The second layer, which is this layer that comes off, is a visceral layer. It covers, it covers the spermatic cord, testes, and epididymis as a whole. So once you skin it off, this yellow thing is called a testes. The fancy word for it is tunica albin, albuginia, and it's, it's just a thick connective tissue capsule. Again, here's the tail and the head. So you're gonna you're gonna make coronal incision along the ridges that you see. And then you're gonna open it in half, and then you're gonna notice this white lining right here. And that is what is called the mediastat the mediastium, which encloses the red testes. And you're also gonna see on the other side. And then the yellow dots around the mediastium are seminiferous tubules, which align with the germinal epithelium to produce spermatosa. Now we're going to start with a dissection part. You're going to make a slight incision on the outside of the testicle, and you want to be tough but gentle at the same time because to skin it, the tissues get, can get pretty tough sometimes. And you wanna, you're going to want to keep doing this until you get the whole thing off. So here we almost have it off. As you can see, it's, it's pretty tough to take off. And then you're going to want to take it completely off using the forceps. Once you do that, you're going to make a coronal incision, a complete coronal incision along the testicle, cutting it completely in half on the side of the ridges. However, you don't want to cut it all the way, you're going to want to cut like a little piece like this. You're going to leave a, leave a, little, leave a little piece. separating the parietal layer from the visceral layer of the tunica vaginalis. 